is what you we can't go about. nowhere, Sika. <laughs> I'm here. We are you and not to eat forever. We connected now. <laughs> yes. yes. Just to start us off, um, what's the importance of seeking knowledge internally versus externally? So externally, I feel like all the knowledge that we receive is kind of force, force fed to us. And so it's like, you know, I feel like we don't have that much control of the external things that are outside of us. And we think that we are receiving and understanding what we are seeing externally, but <clears throat> it's not as detrimental as seeking knowledge internally. And when I have tried to possibly, well, when I have been seeking internally, it's made me like completely understand things externally versus mm. being on the outside of myself and seeing it and only seeing it for surface value. Being internal just makes me understand the different aspects of things and understand that things aren't what they seem period so yeah. it's just it's it's ve it's very very important internally because the first thing is understanding yourself and just understanding that everything that's happened externally really doesn't necessarily have to deal with you but it has something to deal with teaching you something and so yeah. internally it's just it's it's like it's like a compass for me and i don't think that external knowledge can guide me the way that internal knowledge can Okay. And, and for our for our viewers that may not um, fully understand, like seeking internally versus externally, like what, what are the things that you do to practice that, like seeking internally? Firstly, I meditate. And a lot of people assume that meditate is the same thing as prayer. But for, and, and for some people it is, but for me, it isn't. Um, meditation is just a strict, a strict um, tapping into yourself and acknowledging all the feelings that you are feeling and making sure that you're identifying them and making sure that you can assist and nurture them if you can identify them. So um, chakras was the first thing that introduced me into internal knowledge. Had I not known about chakras, um, I don't think that I would have been um, on the internal search that I was on. And understanding and learning about the chakras alone taught me so much about like, for instance, the throat chakra being being um, blocked. I've had so many moments in my life where I'm like, why can't I get out these words? Like, what's going on? And it's, it's understanding that, okay, <clears throat> something is off and I have seven chakras. So obviously I need to tap in, meditate and, I, and, and examine what's going on with, within me. And a lot of people really don't understand the importance of things like chakras or meditation or prayer or just sitting in silence, but mm -hmm. it is very, very important to your mental health. And I want to say overall, mental health and wanting to break generational curses is what brought me to wanting to seek knowledge internally. Like, it's just, you know, I see too many things in my family and I'm like, I can't, I can't allow that to happen if I have enough knowledge to read these things and let it soak in. Like I can, I can stay ahead of the curve and be better than the generations before us. So it's all about, you know, tapping in because some chakras doesn't help for everybody. And that's another thing. A lot of people don't have enough patience to seek what works for them. And a lot of people like to seek what works for others, but you have to understand yourself to understand what you need to be seeking. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Cause, um, Shani, uh, I'm gonna ask her to chime in. Like she's the one who really introduced me to, um, more of that meditation side, um, that mental health. Uh, she's the creator of happy me equals happy we. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you chime in on this mental health. Uh, I love that. <laughs> hey, we all in this together, Sika. Like, I'm really feeling what you're saying as far as that, because if you don't do it for yourself, you can't do it for your kids. You can't do it for that next generation. You can't break the cycles you were talking about. So it really starts with us. And I think what you were saying, you just put it on yourself instead of looking at like, oh, my 
my people, they didn't teach me this, or, you know, they're not this way. You stop looking for it there. You started finding it within yourself. And now I'm pretty sure your family, they're now looking at you because now they're like, okay, we didn't have it. Yeah, exactly. Because they didn't have it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to bring that out as far as how do you move now that you're you're starting to meditate? Because when I started meditating, people started noticing something different. And then they started asking me, but I was still learning for myself. So trying to give it to somebody without having it for yourself, I think you have to start to set that boundary. So how did you work through that as far as being able to get it for yourself, but now you're able to give it to somebody else? Like, how did you go from that process there to being able to deliver it to someone? Because you're doing a great job by delivering it now, but I know it took time. (laughs) <laughs> it did. It took a lot of time. And to be honest with you, I have to I have to give credit to my wife for that because she was the strong force of making me be accountable for my actions and being accountable for what I was also bringing into our relationship. And we had to identify like the things that we have gone through before our relationship started and the things that we have gone through in our relationship. And, you know, when you when you have intertwined yourself in a marriage, it's very important to be able to not leak your toxicity onto that person because it's going to come into your marriage. So it was very, very important to us before we even decided to get married that we identified the things that we have possibly been battling and just swept under the rug. So the first thing that I had to do was separate from social media, separate from my friends, because there was a lot of things that I was reading and doing, and I'm very open and I like to talk about it. If you're around me, I like, I just want to share. And I want you to do the same thing if you feel comfortable doing so. And I noticed that it was making people uncomfortable. And I'm like, yo, it's making people uncomfortable, but I'm feeling like I'm getting to myself. So that was the first thing I had to separate. And after I separated, it allowed it, it only allowed me, me, myself, and my wife. And we were able to literally tap in. Um, I did a I, I did a 365 day journey with the chakras. It was a reading that I had to do every day. I had to write how I felt. And that was the first time that I actually like did something that was a challenge. And I never I didn't miss a day. I didn't miss a beat. And I was just like, yo, this is it was interesting to me. Because there's so many things that I've decided to do and then like I just uh and didn't complete it. And the fact that I completed the journey of the of the chakras for 365 days, I was just like, yo, I, at the end of it, like I felt so powerful. And I was just, I was questioning it. I was like, this is weird. This is weird because I didn't go to the store and buy some pills. I didn't go and eat this. I didn't go see somebody. I'm literally just sitting here reading and understanding the parts on the inside of my body, I'm understanding that, hey, if I take a, a quick second, five seconds, and just breathe it out, my response is going to be totally different from that first response that I actually, that my flesh wants to give out. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the phrase, lean not on your own understanding, held me through held me through because there was some times that I was like, yo, I'm, I want to do what I'm what I'm used to doing. But I had to realize that what I'm used to doing is a generational habit, which is contributing to my generational curses that I'm trying to break. Go ahead, so girl. I, I can't I can't do this. And so I got I, I put myself in a mindset that I'm in the gym. I'm in the gym. And I'm trying to get to this particular point. And I know that I'm going to have to always be in the gym. But as long as I'm still making those gains, then I'm going to keep on doing what I don't want to do. Every time I hear my mind say, man, I don't want to do that, I do it. I do it because I know that that's the laziness. That's the laziness wanting to succumb to the habit. And habit is not going to help me evolve at all. Only good habits. <laughs> right. Come through. I love yeah. it. You know, it's, it's just crazy because I um I did a, a challenge of um reading the Bible for a year. And, um, I, I was so like the things that I read and being able to take that time to meditate. Like I, I, I even did the whole distance myself, separate myself from social media. And sometimes you need that thing to 
just do for an entire year or just like the first time I did it for 40 days. Like I separated from social media for 40 days and I came back like, what the heck is going on? Like, <laughs> like it, it just changes. Like, this and is what I'm missing. Uh-uh. Yeah, like he looked like Moses when he came back from. The- <laughs> I was like, Autumn, is that you, girl? She like, I read the whole Bible. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, man, you get you get changed, you get transformed, and I think that's what a lot of people are missing. People are staying the same because they keep going through the same exact thing, the same exact time every single day you know but like that you know, external to affect them because that's what we're is called feed for a reason like they're literally feeding yes. this to us like yes. like it's it's crazy Come like, on, have, Ray, word. let's go <laughs> like i have i have a poem it says um we have a feed but what are you being fed you have followers but who are who's leading you like you know what i'm saying who no. are the people that you That's actually are are like following like what are what are the influences that you have on your life like you know what i'm saying so it's it's just so crazy that people continue to seek things externally and try to put themselves in this box when you could just come from the inside and express that outwardly That's and it shows that transformation shows facts all facts yes yeah. Whoa. <laughs>